Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is fourth grade, module seven, lesson 13. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue converting from converting measurements into smaller units. For example, one and a half gallons is equal to how many quarts? So let's get started. So uh, we're gonna start with pounds and ounces. Relating pounds, which are large units, into ounces, which are small units. So the first thing is, if we want to identify what is a sixteenth of a pound, well, a sixteenth of a pound means take your pound, and this length up here is supposed to represent one pound. In fact, it should be labeled. And then uh, one sixteenth of it, chop it up into one sixteenth, and that's equal to one ounce. And so one sixteenth of a pound is equal to one ounce. So if we wanted to take a half a pound, well, take a look, and a half a pound means we're going to take that pound and we're going to chop it up into two equal sized pieces. And we want to know, well, how many ounces is that half a pound? And we can see that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight ounces in a half a pound. And so that is going to tell us that in a half a pound there are eight ounces, which is eight sixteenths of a pound. So a half a pound is equal to eight ounces. And then if we want to do, say, okay, how about a quarter of a pound? How many ounces is a quarter of a pound? So we're going to look at our 16 ounces, which is a pound, and we're going to chop it up into four pieces because that's what it says. It's a quarter of a pound. So we're going to chop it in half, Chop each one of those in half. And so we can see that one fourth of a pound is equal to four ounces. That's kind of a coincidence that the denominator and the number of ounces is the same. That's a total, total coincidence. So quarter of a pound is equal to four ounces, which is four sixteenths of a pound. And that's the process for converting pounds to ounces, is you take that pound, you chop it up into whatever the denominator is. In fact, let's take a look at this. Let's do 5 eighths. So 5 eighths of a pound means we're going to take our pound and chop it up into eight equal sized pieces. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So there's our eight equal size pieces, but we want five eighths. So five eighths, five eighths of a pound is equal to ten ounces because we can see it's counted two ounces plus two plus two plus two plus two, so it's ten ounces. So five eighths of a pound is equal to 10 ounces, which is 10 sixteenths of a pound. Same exact process, only this time we're talking about hours and minutes. And we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 1 60th of an hour. If you take an hour, chop it up into 60 pieces, that's one minute. So we know we can say 1 60th of an hour is one minute. Well, how about a half an hour? Well, a half an hour means you're going to take that hour, chop it up in half, so you get two equal sized pieces. So that's going to be 30 and 30. So a half an hour is equal to 30 minutes, which is 30 sixtieths of an hour. And then last one, oh, let's do a third, a third of an hour. So you're going to take your 60 minutes, that's an hour, and chop it up into three equal sized pieces. Well, if you do that, it's going to be 20 minutes in each section. So it's going to be 20 plus 20 plus 20. So if we wanted to identify a third of an hour, that's going to be 20 minutes, which is 20 sixtieths of an hour. 
Now we're just going to practice some conversions. So we've got six and three quarters pounds. So six and three quarters. So we're going to draw that by drawing. First, we're going to draw six pounds. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, now there's our six pounds. Now we need to draw three quarters of a pound. And what that means is we're going to imagine each of those um, pounds being chopped up into th four pieces. So if we want three fourths, there, there it is. But the idea is, so I just drew six and three quarters of a pound. But the idea is we want to convert it into ounces. Well, we remember that one pound is 16 ounces. So we've got 16 ounces, 16 ounces, 16 ounces, 16 ounces, 16 ounces. Now, this one right here is also 16 ounces, but 16 ounces, but it's been chopped up into four pieces. So that means each of these are four and each of these are four. So we can see that six and three quarters pounds looks like this. And if we want to know how many ounces, well, we've got 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six copies of 16. So six copies of 16 plus we're going to add in 12 because that's 4 plus 4 plus 4 down here. So 6 copies of 16, so that's 96, and then 96 plus 12. I don't know what that is. 96 plus 12 is 108. So we know that our answer is 108 ounces. This problem's basically the same. We're going to draw 4 and an eighth pounds and we're going to figure out how many ounces four and an eighth pounds is. I'm not going to draw it. I think use this as your guide for doing D. All right, so we've got three and three quarters hours is equal to how many minutes? Three and three quarters hours. Well, let's start by drawing. So we're going to draw one hour two hours, three hours. And to draw that, th that final three quarters of an hour, it means that each of these hours are going to be chopped up into four pieces. And that tells us exactly how large to draw each of our quarters. One quarter, one quarter, one quarter. So there's our three quarters. All right, there's our three holes and our three quarters. All right. Now each of these hours is 60 minutes. So we've got 60 minutes, we've got 60 minutes, we've got 60 minutes. But the idea is if these four pieces is 60 minutes, that means each piece is 15. Because 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 equals 60. So that means each of these is 15 minutes. So now that we're ready, we are ready officially to turn hours into minutes. How do we do it? Well, we've got three copies of 60 minutes plus we have 45 minutes, and the 45 minutes came from here, down here. So three copies of 60 plus 45. So that's 180 plus 45. 180 plus 45 gives us 225 minutes. This problem, basically the exact same process. And that wraps up fourth grade module seven, lesson 13, using pictures and tools and fractions to convert mixed measurements into smaller units.